بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وافضل الصلاة وأتم السلام على سيدنا محمد النور المبين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, بعد قولنا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما صدق الله العظيم الله سبحانه وتعالى says O oh, you who believe keep your duty to Allah سبحانه وتعالى and fear him and always speak the truth he will direct you to do righteous good deeds and will forgive you your sins and whosoever obeys Allah سبحانه وتعالى and his messenger Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم has indeed achieved a great success. Brothers and sisters, dear parents and the students, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. This is Imam Muhammad from Australian International Academy, Caroline Springs Campus. Firstly, insha'Allah ta'ala, you have all been well and are well rested, I hope, by, will, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you are doing well and trying to stay confident in this challenging times. I'm asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward you immensely for your patience and perseverance. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us better, better days than these days. Allahumma ameen, ya rabbal alameen. As we recommence teaching for term four, I would like to share a weekly reminder with you. Insha'Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. Yes, brothers and sisters, term four. And remember, it's never too late to be what you might have been. To my beloved student, I say, stop wishing, start doing. Brothers and sisters, narrated Ummul Mumin Aisha radiyallahu anha wa an abiha as-siddiqa tu bintu as-siddiq radiyallahu anhuma. Once the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came while a woman was sitting with me. He said, alayhi salatu wa salam, who is she? Aisha said, I replied, she is so and so, and told him about her excessive praying. He said disapprovingly, do good deeds which is within your capacity. Listen, brothers and sisters, my beloved student, do good deeds which is within your capacity without being overtaxed, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not get tired of giving rewards but surely you will get tired. And the best deed act of worship in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that which is doing regularly. Let us recall brothers and sisters that any Muslim who supplicates Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a supplication that does not contain any sin or cutting off of family relations, Allah will give him one of three things for it. Number one, either he will speedily answer his dua, number two, or he will save it for him until the hereafter, and three, or he will stop something bad from him, equal to the value of his dua. Brothers and sisters, it's a short reminder. I would love, be idhillahi tabaraka wa ta'ala, to continue with you to talk about these etiquettes and adab and morals of dua, and insha'Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala, we will cover it in the coming episodes by will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I would like to finish with dua so please saying Ameen may Allah bless you Allahumma ahfadna min bayni aydina wa min khalfina wa an aymanina wa an shamailina wa min fawqina wa na'udhu bi'azamatika an nughtala min tahtina O Allah protect us from our front behind us 
from our right and our left and from above us and I seek refuge and we seek refuge in your glory from being taken unaware from beneath us. Ya Allah, we ask you to make best our achievement, to make best our intentions, to make best our act and to make best our deeds and to make best our inside and our, our outside. Allahumma ameen. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم اللهم بارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما باركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد جزاكم الله خيرا and thank you for your listening and once again I ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to ease our days إن شاء الله and to give us better days than these days اللهم آمين and forgive our sins and fill our life with barakah and lifted this hardship and coronavirus. Keep us all safe and beloved one from the coronavirus. Allahumma ameen ya rabbal alameen. Wa jazakumullahu khayran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.